This morning we're going to head off down into the wetland, um, into a very specific kind of wetland called the prairie fen. This time of year, you can find Nate Fuller counting butterflies. The director of the Serret Nature Center needs an accurate count of Mitchell's satyr butterflies to help preserve one of their last known habitats. Uh, they're uh, very particular in the kind of habitat where they can live, which is part of what makes them so rare and um, amazing indicators for our water quality. Today, satyr expert Ashley Cole Wick with Michigan's Natural Features Inventory helps Fuller count. When I first started working on the butterfly uh, in 2013, we had 18 populations, and this year in 2019, um, we have 10. Finding the small brown butterflies with golden ringed eye spots can be difficult. There just aren't many around. The Mitchell satyr went on the endangered species list in 1991. Initially, it was thought that loss of wetlands contributed to their decline. It's not just habitat availability, it's groundwater um, and the amount and the quality of groundwater coming into these wetlands seem to be a, a, a challenge for the butterfly. Um, I say nothing has all been sorted out exactly. While the decline is likely a combination of factors, the fact that water quality might contribute is unsettling because the wetlands are the headwaters for the Midwest's rivers and streams. A captive breeding program was started four years ago at the Toledo Zoo to help get to the bottom of the mystery. To date, Dr. Ryan Walsh, who heads the program, says it's been the only successful captive program. So we're starting a captive colony. We'll occasionally collect them to add new genetics to the captive population. Um, and we can really breed a large number of the butterflies. The rest of them, the ones that won't be left back for captive breeding, will be released out into the wild. The caterpillars spend the winter in a special weather controlled chamber. That helped determine the Mitchell satyrs don't do well below 4.4 degrees Celsius, a temperature that prevents the fen wetlands from the hard freezes which kill the insects. With that knowledge, the program produced 1,300 new eggs this summer a development that may go a long way toward restoring the population. And if all goes well, may one day earn the Mitchell Sater butterfly a ticket off the endangered species list. For VOA News, I'm Erica Celeste in Benton Harbor, Michigan.